welcome back to my channel. My name is Gems, and today I'm here with my sister, Angel. And we are actually going to be unboxing a pumpkin patch tarantula and a Brazilian red and white tarantula from someone who is downsizing their collection. So I offered to take the tarantula in. Obviously, I did pay for it, but I actually got the other tarantula for free, which is amazing. So this is actually just by by a random person who I saw who was getting rid of their collection and I was like, you know what, I'll take in a pumpkin patch and they gave me the Brazilian red and white for free which is awesome of them, thank you so much but yeah, we are gonna get into this yep. which is gonna be awesome I don't actually have a catch cup with me, I don't have any available because my catch cup is actually being used for an enclosure right now mm. so we're gonna open this uh, but they are in containers themselves so that should be fine but we're gonna... Looks like they haven't escaped Dun, 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 dun. I don't think so. I hope <laughs> <probably> not. <laughs> Let's open this up. Well, here you go guys, this is it. So this is the Brazilian red and white, and this is the pumpkin patch large form. But oh my goodness, that's so awesome. Okay, I'm not sure if they're actually just free in here or... I think it's at the top. Is it? Is it? I don't want to open the container in just in case. Looks like it might be just in that ball. <laughs> Which is happening because um, pumpkin patch, they burrow a lot and they web up a lot. And I think the Brazilian red and white is in a smaller container in here. As you can see, there's another container in there as well, which is interesting. I might try and actually open this one up, if I can. At least you got two new cups as well then. Yeah. Oh, I can tell that there's lots of um, cricket legs in here. I think they're cricket legs anyway. Let me just grab a pair of tongs. See if it's actually in here. Oh, I can't get that out with my fingers. There we go. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, so thankfully they actually come with their own containers. I didn't think that that was... I thought he put the these actual trenches just in here and shipped them off, but um, no, I get these little guys. I get this little container. It's adorable. Like it, I know you probably can't see that well because how dirty this thing is, but uh, yeah, it's in you there. It. Just in there. So at, I can actually... I'll, I'll definitely clean this out, and I'll um, put my own substrate in here and actually use this container, which will be awesome. And now time to see the pumpkin patch. My goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna check around. Let's see if I can open this. Cause I wanna make sure I can get a good shot of it. Make sure it's okay and stuff. And it might actually be a very bolty because obviously pumpkin patches are bolty. I have no idea where it could be. It's definitely in that gunk of stuff. Okay. <laughs> I can't see it, unfortunately. Oh, I, yeah, I can see a little butt. So right here, there's a little butt right there that you can see. <gasps> there you go, you can see it a lot better. I don't know if you guys can see that. The reflection is a pain. <laughs> oh, um... I get fair It's believe. definitely in there, though. I can kind of see it. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Thank you guys so much so, to the person who sent me this. I thank you so, so much. So what I'm actually going to do for this one, for the Brazilian red and neat, red and neat, <laughs> for the Brazilian red and white, I'm just going to quickly empty this out, clean it out, and uh, then, um, well, this hole's big enough or small enough. 
yeah, it should be fine. So I'm just going to quickly rinse this out and put my own substrate in here. And then I could just have this as the enclosure for the Brazilian red and white. And then I'll deal with this one later. <laughs> okay, so I just grabbed the substrate. So what I'm going to be doing is just adding a bit of substrate into here. I use coconut fiber, um, just coconut fiber alone. So that's technically what I'm going to be adding into here. All it really needs is substrate, honestly. It doesn't really need anything else but that because obviously it's just going to burrow a lot. So I'm just going to add it into here, give it lots of room to burrow and stuff. And there we go, a little burrowing little area. So that's it. Um, I will be adding some water into here, obviously. This is spray it down. Uh, and I'm just gonna take this label off simply just because I don't like it. I don't like having labels on containers where I wanna watch the tarantula, so I'm just gonna take this off. I'm just going to take this off, only just because I don't really like having labels on my enclosures. Simply just because I can remember. <laughs> I can't remember which is which. Oh, there we go. Up to there. <laughs> up to no good. Alright, there we go. So that is enough substrates. Um, obviously I don't want it too close to the area, but I don't want it too far as well, because if it goes too far down, then I don't want the trench to climb up and then fall down. That's obviously something you don't want happening. So I'm now gonna try and put the trench into here, which is going to be interesting. So um, if you haven't seen our recently curly hair video, uh, we recently just did that video, so definitely go check that out on the channel as well. We also had it in this enclosure as well. So that one was a bit more difficult because the curly hair did not want to come out of the enclosure at all, out of these little things. There we go. It is so cute. I am just gonna be trying to put it in here. Okay, I've just moved to the floor simply just because I actually had it on the table, which is not ideal for a sling because most likely it's gonna bolt somewhere if, if in case it does. So I don't want it falling off the table. So what we're doing is actually doing it on the floor now. So that is the key here, just doing it on the floor and I'm just gonna open this up. See if I can get it to come out. I really don't want to use my tongs because every time I use my tongs, I'm so afraid that I'm just going to uh, squish the tarantula. Alright, so I usually just wait for it to come out. My cat is super interested in what's going on right now. Willow. No, this tarantula is not for you. Willow? What, what is it? Well, hi. Yes, hi, mister. Yeah. <laughs> hi. Alright, you can go somewhere else now. <laughs> well, I, you need to go. Yeah. Bye. No, you, no. Go on. Kid. <laughs> Let me just do that real quick and uh, put these down so then like, she can see on the inside. Good. Just in case this tarantula does bolt, because I don't have any experience with these kind of species. Just in case this does bolt, I have protection. Then it'll bar all the way through all of this. <laughs> yeah. You're so close. Look at him. So cute. You can back up a bit, just wait for it to clear up. Yeah, you go. So cute. Aww. Oh. Sorry, my guy. You you got it. You got it. What? Are you there? There, there you go. No, 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 no. You you can go back out. You can go out. There we go. You try and get a good shot of it. There you go. That is the little sling. Thank you guys so much for the person who sent this to me. Honestly, I'm so grateful. <laughs> It'll be my first time ever taking in a um. A tarantula that isn't from an actual tarantula business or anything like that, so thank you. So I will be feeding this guy um, Red Runner legs, and maybe as it gets all bigger, I will be feeding it half pre-killed of a body. But yeah, there we go, that is the tarantula. It was actually a lot more calmer than I expected, so that was honestly a win. So I might actually be a little bit more confident with the tarantula as I go on, which is will be great actually. So yeah, Maybe you'll get to handle it. Yeah, maybe I will, but I just wanted to be extra cautious because I didn't want it to bolt because of the tongs because I still have, 
I, I don't have any like thinner tongs to be able to use and sometimes it kind of freaks trying to want to use too much bitty big tongs so I just wanted to be careful but there we go so adorable it's so cute oh it's adorable honestly amazing but yeah that's that's that tarantula now time to move on to the pumpkin patch so this is the pumpkin patch I'm not entirely sure what to do with this one hmm you can see its little butt though and it is definitely in there let me just try and take this thing off. There you go. Don't know if you'll be able to see it at some point. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm right on the back of it. Uh, yes, it does. There we go. Right. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. That's it right there. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's just a flexion. Is a pain. It's definitely in there, though. You can see its little butt. Um, but yeah, not we're... clearly on this thing. But yeah. <laughs> well, I can see it clearly. Um, so I'm gonna try and we can try and put it in our bigger enclosures. We could do that. Yeah. So I have one short enclosure that's just good enough for this tarantula, and I know this tarantula does web up a lot, as you can see, the top's already webbed up, and this is already webbed up and stuff. So I'm gonna try and put it in there, maybe see how it reacts, and hopefully it makes it a good home. Okay, so these are the enclosures that we have from the Tea World. Uh, I have four of them, and now I'm going to be using the second one that I have available. So I only got one left of them. So we'll be opening this up. So this is the all the stuff that comes with it because I ordered the uh, full enclosure setup. But yeah, you got loads of flowers and stuff. I probably won't use the flowers in that. Most likely, I don't know. But I'll have to think about it. Um, I'll put the flowers there, and obviously a little hide. But uh, yeah, we're now going to put a uh, substrate into here. So I was going to grab some substrate, make sure to get everything in frame. I'm just going to grab all this stuff, put it into here without trying to make any mess. <laughs> so this tarantula is big enough uh, to go into here. It's actually, I would say, almost ready to come out of that small little enclosure. So we're just going to put substrate into here. And obviously we love giving it like a little hill in the back. So it can burrow there. And of course I know this species loves to like web things up so I want to add a little something extra into it. Okay so this is the bag that I'm going to be using. It has my little piece of cork in it that I'm going to be using. Um, but this species does like to um, web things up a lot so maybe I might give it this giant piece. Actually that does fit in. That does just fit in. So maybe it can have this ginormous gigantic piece. I will put that into there and so it can climb up if it wants to. It's a nice little style because the spider will web things up and I was, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm going to be over the mood to see webbings like that. But I'm just going to put like more in the back just so it makes it more as if there's more substrate than there actually is. And it might come up through the airing holes obviously, <laughs> the substrate. But there we go. Um, that looks really nice, doesn't it? That is very nice. Yeah. So I'll just add a bit in the front of the cord box just to make sure it stays in that position. But there we go. I think that looks good. And obviously you're going to add some water. Oh, a little hydration thing. There you go. I'm not entirely sure how much water this one needs. So I will be doing more research on this tarantula. It's my first time ever caring for it or anything. Having this tarantula ever. So... Obviously, I'm not going to know everything from the get-go. I will learn things as I go with the tarantula itself. But I will learn as much as I can from the internet. But there we go. It looks awesome, doesn't it? It looks really nice. It looks so cool. Obviously, yeah, I will be putting its webbing in here as well, the stuff that it came with. But there we go. Alright, let's put this on. There we go. And now time to put the tarantula in, which is going to be super exciting. Move these flowers around. I might give it this one flower actually, just simply because I know it can web it up. So I might put it down here, maybe. I know, that does look really nice. Yeah, it's down in that corner, maybe. And then it can also go behind the flower under the bark as well, so be like a little hide. Yeah, there we go. And um, do we have a water dish somewhere? Okay, so we just found this little black water dish that's from the Tea World. So I'm just going to put it in this corner right here. And there we go. Enclosure set up. There we go. It's, it looks awesome, doesn't it? It looks really nice. All the way from the back and stuff. You want to get above you? But there we go. 
That's it, looking super good. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for the webbings on this. Yeah, make sure you fill up the water dish before you put the trench away. Yep, that good thing for reminding me. Water dish, done. So in enclosures, I always usually put water in the same area I put the enclosures in. So if I'm ever watering this trench, I usually will most likely will just spray down this side um, and leave the other side bare, just in case it wants to go to that side instead. But there we go, now time to move the actual tea itself. So this is going to be interesting. So I know it's all the way at the bottom. Yeah, there is so much weapons. So I'm going to try and just um, take out its webbings. Some strong webs. Those webbings are so strong, actually. Oh my gosh. It is so cute, though. Oh my goodness. And it's big. It's actually big. Um, actually, you know what I was going to do? Um, put this out, and I'll just get this container just in case. And then put it inside, and then we might have extra protection. <laughs> Just in case anything decides to go on, I'll put this there. Just in case this trench decides to bolt or anything like that. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see it because there's, <laughs> there's literally substrate on top of it right now. But it hasn't moved very much, so... I know it's a lot because I did see it wiggling around in the enclosure and I don't exactly want to poke it at too much because it's just been through a transition of everything. So I'm going to leave it to get some space. And obviously we will be feeding it um, in two, well actually we'll be feeding it in two days. Yeah, two days to give it lots of time to be able to rest because obviously we're getting this tarantula in the afternoon. So we want to make sure that it gets enough time to be able to settle down. But that's the little tarantula down there. <laughs> yep, you can see it's a little butt. Yeah, I don't exactly want to poke it too much, but I'm, I want to try and get that little bit of substrate off of it. What's oh, moving. It was really hanging onto that piece of substrate. Oh, bless it. But yeah, there we go. That's the little tarantula. It's amazing. It's honestly so cute. But yeah, that's awesome. So it's got a little water dish and everything to go around in. But there we go, little flowers and stuff. Oh my goodness, can't wait for this yeah. one to web up everywhere. Like, I'm so excited for this one. But there we go, that is the tarantula. So we're going to let it go now. We're not going to touch it, we're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to put the enclosure down where I set my tarantulas up. And we're just going to leave it there to settle down. Um, obviously, we'll be checking on it, like observing it to make sure it is okay and it's doing well and it's not gone to a uh, death curl or anything like that. So we'll obviously be observing it, but we will be leaving it alone to settle down for 48 hours just to make sure. But there we go, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just going to put this on here. It doesn't seem to want to go down for some reason. Oh, right. the piece of call book. I think it's the piece of call book that's in the way. Or is it to go the other way? Does it shut the other way? No, it's actually the piece of call book that's actually in the way. The piece of call book is actually in the way. Yeah, the piece of call book is actually in the way. Uh, lovely. Can I still shut it? I guess I'll shut it so it's fine. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. But there we go. Uh, the piece of card book is a bit big for it. But um, I can most likely just push down it more because obviously there's more substrate down there that I can go through. But uh, there we go. And the little trash is right down there. As you can see right there. So I just wanted to give this trench lots of stuff to web over because I know it loves webbing up. And I'm just so excited to be able to see so many of its webs. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, actually. That'll be end of this video, because I have nothing else to show you guys. But there will be an upcoming video of me unboxing um, from the Skinny Legs Tranches themselves, a video of me unboxing a A-Gen, which is a Brazilian white knee. My first ever one, just like this one, and just like the Brazilian red and white. So if you guys want to see that video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below what you think of this video. And uh, yeah. It may be even on the channel right now. You never know. Unless you subscribe. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.